The man accused of selling a gun to a terrorist who then used it to hold hostages at a Colleyville synagogue will stay in jail until his trial. Henry Williams is charged with being a felon in possession of a firearm, which the FBI says he sold to Malik Akram. Investigators say Akram used that gun to hold four people hostage at Congregation Beth Israel for 10 hours. Fox 4's Lynn Ann Wynn was in federal court today and spoke to Williams' wife. She joins us now. Lynn Ann. Heather, Williams' attorney says he couldn't have known what the gun was going to be used for, but a federal judge ultimately decided, given his criminal history and the evidence against him, he will remain in custody. Henry Williams in federal court Wednesday for detention hearing. Cameras were not allowed in the courtroom, but Fox 4 was inside as a Dallas FBI agent testified Williams and Malik Akram had a series of phone calls in the days leading up to the standoff in Colleyville on January 15th. Authorities say Akram contacted Williams on January 11th and 13th, looking to buy methamphetamine, cocaine, and a machine gun with numerous bullets, explaining he was looking to intimidate someone who owed a debt. He later withdrew $550 from a check cashing business and met up with Williams near Malcolm X and MLK Boulevards in South Dallas to make the transaction. Authorities say Williams believes Akram must have gotten his number from someone else and when shown a photo of Akram, confirmed that was the man he sold the pistol to. Federal investigators confirmed the gun, which was stolen, had been fired during the standoff in Colleyville and was recovered at the scene. While Williams' attorney argued her client couldn't have known what the gun would be used for, U.S. attorneys say it's clear Akram intended violence, and there were several red flags that Williams should have recognized. His common-law wife, Keisha Williams, testified on his behalf. I just think they scared him because that's not, that's not true. What they're saying is not true. Williams' defense also argued since Akram was killed in the standoff, Williams is now left to face consequences for what happened. He's a good person, you know. He take care of his family. He, I, what he did, hey, he's supposed to, but I don't think they should railroad him, period. They don't post a railroad him. That's what they're trying to do. U.S. attorneys also brought up Williams' criminal history, including four felony convictions for assault and drug charges. And an FBI agent testified when authorities confiscated his cell phone. There was data missing, leading them to believe he may have destroyed some evidence. And a federal judge today ultimately deciding that Williams will stay in custody until his trial, which is currently set for April.